Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock on the Road. Circumstances being what they are, we had some stuff left over from the garage sale. I know I wasn't going to mention garage sale, but this is kind of cool. The day that we were talking about where we were going to get rid of the dishes, because Lydia has collected dishes over the years and she has several sets. Head. Operative word, head. The day that we were talking about it, she got a notification on her Facebook page that one of our friends, actually my son's godparents, uh, Bess and Dan, they were going to set up a deal where they were renting dishes and actually have been doing it for a while. They take uh, dish sets and somebody who wants to have a fancy wedding because she's a wedding planner and they want to have a high tea or they want to have a big meeting or something and they want to have nice dishes. Bess loads up her car with all the dishes and requirements and heads off and rents the stuff out. So we thought rather than giving them away to someone else, we'd give them to uh, Ryan's godparents. So that's what I'm doing today. I drove from Kalamazoo down to Coldwater and handed off the dishes. And now I'm out on US 12 at the Coldwater Antique Mall. Yep, that's the sign up there. Find us on Facebook. I've come here for, I don't know, probably close to 20 years and always had a good time. They've got a lot of stuff. Out here in the yard, they've got antique farm equipment, which is what I was first attracted to. There's uh, hay rakes and plows and seeding equipment and tractors and just all kinds of things. So it's kind of a fun place to go. So I'm gonna go inside here. They usually don't like to have cameras running inside the store, so I probably won't be able to do that. But some of the stuff on the outside, I'll show you. wonder how many of you know what this thing is. That one over there is the same thing but a different uh, maker. They're cream separators. Farmers used to dump the milk into the top and then it would be spun out and the centrifugal action would pull the cream off. Now, I would love to have one of these bells but in my neighborhood now, they have a restriction about noise. Anything that makes loud noise can get you a fine. Yeah, there's part of the fun of living in a fancy place is dealing with fancy rules. Oh, there's a whole bucket of shotgun slugs and leaded. Coldwater is a big fishing city, so I'm sure they have a lot of fishing equipment since they have it out here. Wonder what that thing is. I know, do you? And that's a pump jack. This is a corn sheller. And they used to have these at every gas station. You would get a quart bottle of oil and go out and dump it in your car, bring it back in and they'd fill it out of one of these tanks. Problem with everything being outside, any labels that they have on them are long gone. You just pretty much have to ask what the price is. kind of an indicator how long it's been out here if the prices are gone so you can usually offer a little less that's for uh, lifting hay up out of the back of the wagon as they went across the fields potato pickers 
manure wagons. Lots of stuff.
that's a quick trip to the So that's a quick trip to the Coldwater Antique Mall. It's been a lot of fun, and I've got to head back to town now. So we'll see you on the next one. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.